I'm going to apologise in advance for the whirring you can undoubtedly hear. I am still sucked into this 3D printing hobby and yeah, I'm not stopping it out soon. Before we start, because I know damn well this is going to get demonetized for the right reasons, I ask that you smash the like and please share the video about. I think driving additional traffic is beneficial in the long term. Also, if this does get demonetized, because I believe it will, please consider following me over on BitChute, because I also upload there as well, and I would appreciate it. Now, we're going to talk about Louise Porton. Who is Louise Porton, you might ask? This is Louise Porton. Louise Porton is a rather sick, selfish, twisted, vile individual, one that I firmly believe should never see the outside of a prison cell ever. She is so inherently selfish that she put her own needs above that of the children she had. So selfish, she showed no remorse for what she did to her children. Louise Porton had two children, Lexi and Scarlett. In 2018, Louise Porton murdered her two daughters. Going so far as to research how long it would take for body parts to go cold. Now this part-time model, I can see why she's not full-time, denied responsibility for their deaths. The reason touted by the prosecutors for Louise Porton's desire and murdering of her two daughters was that they got in the way of her sex life. Forensics in this case were able to confirm that Lexi had in fact been dead for a considerable amount of time on the 15th of January before Louise Porton even called for help. Fewer than three weeks later, Scarlett was found lifeless. Now, Porton had called 111 because her daughter's condition did not seem urgent. Apparently, a full-blown case of deadness was not urgent. By the time the paramedics arrived nine minutes later, after she called the non-emergency line, the paramedics declared her dead. The forensics confirmed that the deaths of Scarlett and Lexi were consistent with deliberate airway obstruction, with doctors being unable to find any natural reason why either, let alone both, should have died. As a point mentioned by the prosecutors, Horton did not seem remotely distressed by either of her daughter's passings. It should also be noted, back on January the 4th, Lexi had been admitted to hospital due to breathing issues. Doctors at the time were unable to ascertain any kind of obstruction to her airways and simply put it down to a chest infection. Understandably, this got brought up by the prosecution because, yeah, something suspicious was going on a little earlier. Around this time, Louise Porton was also sending nudes to photographers and offering sex in return for money. Clearly, her priorities were a little skewed in favour of herself. Less than a day after Lexi's death, Horton was accepting requests on dating apps like Meet Me and using Badu also to contact other men. Clearly the grief wasn't that much for her. And the prosecutors also pointed out that while she was arranging the funeral for Lexi, she was overheard laughing at the parlour. Now of course there's context for that, but I do think it just paints a rather unusual picture of somebody who does not grasp the very concept of grief because they are entirely responsible for what they did. While searching her computer to ascertain what she was looking at, one of her Google searches included, and this is a quote, can you actually die if you have a blocked nose and cover your mouth with tape? And how long after drowning can someone be resuscitated? It seemed a bit coincidental that her children died of obstructed airways. Some of you are undoubtedly going to be asking, where's the father? Well, Chris Draper, the father, did not have contact with them and had never met Scarlett. So before anyone jumps in and says they should have gone to him, I don't understand the case enough to be able to comment on that. Since there was no suspicion of any kind of actions untoward from the mother, there was never any indication the children should go to the father. Detective Superintendent Pete Hill from the Warwickshire Police said he will never be able to understand why Louise Porton murdered her children. She has lied repeatedly to friends, family and professionals to cover her tracks. At no point throughout the whole investigation has she ever shown any real signs of emotion. I waited on this one 
because I wanted the sentence. She was sentenced, by the way, and we should definitely address that. Louise Porton, the mother who murdered her daughters after they got in the way of her sex life, has been jailed for life with a minimum of 32 years. She is currently 23, meaning she will get out at 55. She showed no remorse, no regret, and based on the prosecution's evidence, she was more interested in herself than she was in the safety and care of the children. She was more interested in getting laid, which I find fascinating considering she had had her fun, but then she had kids. Her fun ended, and I hold this position, I've always held this position. You can have some fun, but your children still come first. You don't then look for an excuse to get rid of them. You, Louise Porton, deserve 32 years as a base minimum. It doesn't mean, by the way, you get out in 32 years. It just means you're eligible for parole then. You've got 32 years to change your ways, to find some way to become rehabilitated, if at all possible. When I heard the sentence, and it said a minimum of that long, I was actually impressed. Impressed that they for once put the hammer down. The criminal justice system giving some sense of justice. I say some sense because undoubtedly a lot of you watching this, hello, are going to say life, no parole, death, torture, something extreme. That is absolutely fine. By all means, tell me in the comments below. I am going to link both articles that are for this, one from the BBC and the other from The Standard. I do want to finish up by talking about the trial a bit more. This trial went on for five weeks. It did not take long to convict Louise Porton. When jailing Louise Porton, Mrs. Justice Yip described the actions of Louise Porton as evil and calculated, with her telling Louise Porton these were blameless young children who were plainly vulnerable and ought to have been able to rely on their mother to protect and nurture them. Instead, you took their young lives away. One way or another, you squeezed the life out of each of your daughters, only calling the emergency services when you knew they were dead. I am sure at the times of the deaths, you intended to kill each of your daughters. Why you did so, only you will know. Hopefully one day, Louise Porton gets to a point where she can tell the honest reason why she decided her children's lives were not worth keeping. Hopefully we find out it wasn't because of them getting in the way of her sex life, but if it is because of that, damn. I hope you enjoy the next 32 years then with your female cellmate in a female prison where they also hold child abusers of any kind in the lowest esteem. The inside of a Pringle tube, by the way. That's what you're going to look like. I personally because of the nature of this case, would say life without parole. This is an absolute violation of trust and parenting, a privilege bestowed upon those who choose to have children. It is an honour to have a child, if you so choose to have one. Of course, mistakes happen, but still, it is an honour and a privilege to be a parent. You decided that wasn't worth it, and that their lives were worth something to you, and because they were an obstacle, because that's what you believed them to be, you decided to move them away from it. Instead of doing the reasonable thing, which, by the way, there was a reasonable option, you could have simply given them to their father, who I am sure would have cherished every single moment with both of them. Louise Porton, you are a sick and twisted individual, and I would sentence you to life without parole. I would not even offer you rehabilitation. No Wi-Fi, no magazines, no privileges. A bed, a toilet, and maybe a table for you to use to scratch your name into. Enjoy 32 years, bitch. You deserve every single one of those years.